ドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルド<laughs> Sorry, Ben, I can't give you any points. Main theme song is going on here. Well, the main theme song is going to here. We're going to jump over to what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um. So Ben, I I was trying to grab this little node here and put it onto the um onto the output node here. I gotta show you what just happened. Hello, everybody. So, Ben, thank you for the 50 bits. Um, Ben, while, while we were in the intro, I was trying to grab onto this little yellow note here. And I couldn't because you scared me. So then this was just flailing all about as I was just trying to get this color to go into this note here. There we go. Got it going. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Today we're going to be working on the journey animation, but first I want to show you something that's going to be free around here. Let's see who's all in chat right now. I see Grim in chat. Hello, Grim. Good to see you. Do 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 do. Similar, it's been uh, Kikunai. Hello, Kikunai. The, that kayaking guy. Good to see you too. Peter Tiny. Good to see you too. And Orca Stereo. I saw your little avatar. Mm, and Mugglebot. <laughs> Mugglebot. Uh, this, uh, I, I'm going to say that this is pronounced as this boom, this W boom. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. So today, uh, we will be working on the journey animation, but there is something that I want to show you guys. Um, I've been working on something that, um, uh, uh, somebody has kind of commissioned me to do. Uh, but I told them that I actually wanted to make this for everybody. So this is something that is going to be free for everyone. So 
This little model here is what I'm trying to make. It's currently, the textures work fine. I'm trying to get the the little controls on here, the, the easy controls to work fine with it. So this model will have the ability to switch between every single armor type, even the uh, turtle helm and no armor, and also bringing it down to the leather controls here. You can change uh, whatever color you want the leather to be. So, and that will work for all that, and it will work for, ooh, that, that's right, the saturation hue, saturation, there we go, bring that up, and then the hue, change the, the value of the hue there, bring it back down the saturation here. There we go. So those are the controls, I still have like half the, half the easy controls to go, and this will be for download on my Discord, where I have some other things for free download. Do, 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 Discord. And there should be a section called Puka411 that uh, has all the free downloads that anybody can use. So that will be in there eventually, pretty soon, hopefully by the end of today, if I'm lucky at getting this going. I'm happy that the node setup is now working. I got, I got custom nodes within custom nodes within custom nodes of just all sorts of uh, crazy goop going in on this stuff just to make this really cool model. <laughs> hey, Sleepy! How you doing, Sleepy? <gasps> Sleepy. Sleepy. I gotta tell you, the secret project, the thingy, um, he really, 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 really likes it. I am gonna have to get with you to just fix a couple things. Just a couple things, and it will be a thing. Um, I will tell you specifics later. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta get together with you so that we can uh, get that finished up. I think I'll, I'll, I'll do it on my own, and then I'll ask for your opinion. <laughs> it, it's the one, it, it's... It, it it's the it's the one that uh, looked like it had um, feminine parts on it that I needed to fix that we needed to fix actually and yes I did tell him that you were helping out with it and uh, he said oh yeah I remember Sleepy Flowers <laughs> so yeah he he knows you. Jen told me you needed my updated skin, so oh. I sent it away. Did it come in handy? Um, I have not applied it to the V Magic Mirror, but I do like the the skin. I am gonna have to get it though. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Why did Nightbot type you time you out? Oh, oh, oh! That's why. That's why you said the S word. Yes, you 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 said the S word, Sleepy. <laughs> okay journey animation let's get this bring and brought down do i have anything secret behind this no good i'm a good streamer i actually prepared this time and actually had the the proper windows up and the proper windows closed <laughs> journey animation uh looks like i'm gonna have to go find it Oh, I've been doing so many things in the background. So many things. Thankfully, most of them are coming to a conclusion this week. And then I'll have time to work on the journey animation behind the scenes. So uh, once this week is done, uh, I'll be able to come back to a journey animation and say, hey, this is what I did between streams. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, open... We want to go back to channel test projects. No, journey animation has its own folder. That's right. TH3 journey. There we go. Journey animations. Ooh, ooh, this is what I wanted to show you. This is one thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, 
Okay, take care, sleepy. Go sleep. So, so um, click, 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 click. Angel had added some Aurora Borealises to his base using some glass. And uh, just so you know, this does blink a lot into different colors, just in case you guys are, are worried about different colors. But this angel had added some Aurora Borealis to his base. And I wanted something that kind of uh, moved in a blocky form, but also kind of was snake-like and also kind of shifted color. And this is what I came up with. So I like the way of how it deforms itself. Um, not so much on its lateral movements right now, but the colors are definitely... I, I like the, the test that I've done here for the Minecraft Aurora Borealis. So that would be in the sky like so. Not as many colors and not as fast. But that is a test that I thought was pretty cool that I'm going to have to add to the base at some point. Uh, to the animation, I'm sorry. Let's see here. Let us open up, don't save, the actual journey animation. Yeah, they're typically uh, green and blue, but I wanted the ability to uh, change between colors. I... I tend to give myself a little, when I'm working on an animation as big as this, I tend to give myself a little bit of room, like, you know, uh, maybe I should go a little bit further. No one will see it, but the possibility is there. And like 50% of the time, I do intent, I do go a little bit further with it. And the other half of the time, I've just wasted. <laughs> I've just wasted things. I could have used duct tape, and I instead I used, uh, what is it, flex tape? <laughs> could have used duct tape. Used flex tape. <laughs> just went that little extra mile that I didn't need to. All right, so uh, let's bring back at least the textured version of this so that way we can see what's going on here hello come on you can do it needs to load up all of these all of these little textures here ah <laughs> gorilla tape <laughs> honey aren't you getting ready for work nope i think i'm gonna stay here why is that i'm kind of um uh... Stuck. <laughs> Let's see here. So we've gotten through a bunch of stuff. So we've, uh, from the beginning, we came out of the portal. Oh no, our friends are behind the portal. Can't light the portal up, get mad, gar. Egg opens up, plop. There is cute little dragon. What do I do with Bibi? Pick up Bibi dragon. Uh, maybe I should take care of baby dragon building is formed Come over here give baby dragon fish Nom nom nom. I'll have to add some mm, eating particles to this. Let's take a look at this Oh, yeah, that's right I had to cut out part of the building in order to get him through without fixing the animation there's a fish. Thick fish. Nom, 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 nom. Good baby dragon. Nom, nom. Okay. So. Uh, do, 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 do. We want... We want this camera. I want to select this camera. Here we go. Alright, so this guy needs to go away. Actually... Actually, this guy needs to go here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so this scene, we need to have the dragon just a little bit older at this point. Not too much, but visibly older. 
and we need to have Angel starting to fiddle with the portal, trying to get it to open a bit. It's going to be like one of his first or second attempts to try to get this to open up. And of course it's going to end in failure and we're going to have to have the dragon just kind of playing around with like bugs on the ground or something like that. So I think let's see if we have the proper angle that we want for this camera. Um, no. No, I don't think this is a proper angle. I think we need to have a zoom out section here. I think we need to have a zoom out. Zoom out moment here. All right, we're going to put ourselves right here. And we're going to have to jump right on over to this guy. Yup. All right, so... You, Mr. Angel, have got to go away because we see you in the other camera. Lock, rock, scale your object file and lock, rock, scale this as well. Um, that. Okay, so next one. These frames, they need to go straight into the ground. So whoop, into the ground. Just disappear for a minute, would you? Go away. We don't. We don't need to see ya. Whoop! All right. So everything should work in this section, and then they disappear. So if we don't look through the camera, we should see them disappear. Fine, as well as the entire scene play out. Fine. Hopefully, as if I done if I done this correctly. And bop. Good. That's what we're looking for. Now, now when we're in this scene, we don't see the the other angel. Okay, good. Now we need to fix up these two guys and make sure that they work from one scene to the next. Poof. They, they went poof. Where'd they go? <laughs> they disappear. It's, um... The one thing that I found that helps me out a lot to figure out different techniques on how to do... <gasps> the boop this note! Thank you, Graham, for booping this note. Boop. <laughs> one of the things that I found in the, to help out with techniques with animation is to watch speedrunning or behind the scenes on how games work. Because they tend to use a lot of the same techniques as animation in order to cheat some of the cheat some of the stuff in order to save on resources. Because again, my computer's not that great. And to also um, have different angles that you wouldn't have thought of. So speedrunning has actually helped me out a little bit. Just because uh, of how how the games are created. What are the 12 laws of animation? <laughs> Grim? I don't know. Ta-da! <laughs> I have never I have never taken a formal animation class ever. Never taken a formal animation class. So I do not know the 12 laws of animation. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, I don't even know number one, or any of them. Motion smear. Oh, yeah, motion smear. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's one that's taken up a back seat recently. Because if you watch, um, let me turn down the music a little bit. If you watch, what is it, DuckTales, the newest version, there is no motion smear in, in DuckTales. Like, none of them have a, uh, have a motion smear in any of their quick, their quick movements. They should, because they're a 2D animation, and you don't get that motion blur with 2D animation. With 
the 3D animation that it, it does get into a weird territory. Uh, you can do like a squash and stretch with that, uh, with 3D animation. Uh, but as, yeah, sm motion smear is, um, is odd. Uh, is is going on the wayside now for some reason in recent animations and don't know why I guess it's just a style chi style um, style choice amongst many people I guess um let's see here. Do do do. We want do 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 do. There we go. That's the. This is the frame that I want. Okay. So the here, here we need to take these guys and we need to give them a lock rock scale here. So they'll be here, and then next frame, I need to pose them up into something completely different. Hmm. Oh, this is the held one. Is there another dragon under here? There is another dragon under here. Oh! Okay, so this one just needs to disappear. I believe it's this keyframe here. Forgot, this one This one is the held one. Let's go ahead and duplicate this frame. Bring it on over here. Okay, because this one, this dragon just needs to straight up disappear. Oh. Oh. Mm, I think I did that wrong. Where is it? There it is. Give me this keyframe as well. Mm, duplicate and bring you right on over here. Good. Um was just a way to cheat uh fewer animation cells um never saw you live before but quite fun to watch well thank you thank you very much appreciate that um grim it not really a smear is kind of a is kind of a way to make something feel a certain way um, like if you want to swipe through the air, you want it to feel fast rather than, uh, look fast because you do have, yeah, you do. It is, you know what? Thinking about it, it is a way to cheat with fewer frames, but it is a way to help the, the, the feeling of the motion because, uh, if you want and go through and see, uh, the smear frames of the of the Simpsons, they look horrendous, but they get the point across without you ever seeing them. So they, they, they look horrendous, but they feel correct. So it just helps the, the feeling of it. Hmm. Uh... And sometimes when you don't have that smearing effect, it actually uh, hinders on the feeling of the motion and doesn't quite feel right. Uh, let's see here. I want this dragon to pop up. So this guy needs to come up to the surface as well. So this dragon is going to be coming on up. And where is the other... Object. All right. Object transformation. Duplicate. Do, 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 do. Grab. Sometimes I wonder if I should take a formal animation class so that I can know really what I'm talking about. I've taken. I've picked up. I've picked up a lot just by listening and watching other animation animation artists. But <clears throat> I don't know the the form formalities of everything, which kind of makes this a lot more fun. Ooh! <sighs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Grim, for the fifty bits. 
I was taking a drink out of my caffeine. You nearly got me. You nearly got me. <laughs> you nearly got me. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Uh, do, do, do. So this guy is going to pop up when when we jump over to this scene here. This these eggs definitely need to disappear as well. So let's see here. This thing. Bone. Uh, object transformation. Do we have an object transformation for this? We do. Okay. So frame uh, frame here. Let's move one frame down, get rid of those eggshells. That'd be that'd be That'd be kind of disgusting if you just kept around the eggshells of the uh, of the baby egg forever. Uh, uh, feel doing 2D art. I've never had a formal course. I just self-taught. It kind of makes things fun, doesn't it? Does it make it fun for you, Grim? Not having a formal course. Just being uh, able to work your way through it just on guessing and exploring. I think it's fun just exploring things without any formal formality behind it. And it's just like you don't have a, um, a teacher in the back of your head going, Oh, no, 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 that's not right. That's not right. You can't do that. You just have your, your own voice going, mm, Maybe yes, maybe no. Hmm... <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. I, I like that about the less formalities. There's, there's nobody talking in my head telling me I can't do something. Just like, you know what? I can do that, and I'm going to find out a way to do that. A lot of really great artist friends who I've always been able to go and get their thoughts for stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, some of this stuff, yeah, I definitely had to ask some people. Like uh, Sleepy, when uh, she came in here, she's helping me on a, on a secret project, and I needed some help on on um, the shape of um, human form. And I needed to ask some specific questions, and thankfully, figured it out. Thank you for the lurk, Harry! By the way, hello. Alright, so this dragon has grown up a little. So we are going to... Let's take all of this stuff and rotate it in the right way. So all of these are going to go in the right rotation. And they're going to be grabbed correctly. Alright, so the proportions of the dragon are still the same. So let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit. All right. Let's scale this up a little bit. Bring it over here. And then let's reduce the size of the head just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I think those horns and those spines can come out too. Um, let's do that. I think, did I reduce these? I can't recall if I reduced these. Yes, apparently I did. All right, let's take some of these spines and move them up a little bit. Because I believe these need to grow up a little bit. Oh, hey, there's one spine that I missed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's right. I can't do that. I'm not... I can't do that. That's right. If I want to do that, I'm going to have to make a completely separate model. Because that's... This is going to be the same model as the other one. Right. Okay, so... Let's go over to... Here. Um... Actually, no, I'm going to have to go back a little further. Much further. Let's go back. Way back. 
Much backing. Much backing, much backing. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, that's not going to go back any further. Um, I've already gotten rid of my backing. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these others. All of these need to disappear. All of these need to disappear except for object transformation. Omzik transformation can stay, but I need to get rid of all of these. Delete keyframes. That's what I need. All right. Lock rock scale on that now. Primes Let's... are real world. Cicada's life cycle is based on them. Before they come up Primes? to date, Cicada's incubate underground for 13 or 17 year. Both are prime numbers. Hmm. Primes are real world. Real world. Cica oh, cicadas. Cicadas. Okay. Both of them an incubate underground for 13 to 17 years. Both are prime numbers. Hmm. No, they, they incubate underground for 13 or 17 years. So it's not... It's not 14 years, it's not 15 years, it's either 13 or 17. That's interesting. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Because I know that there's um, what is it, a flower that only blooms like every once a decade or something like that. It smells like rotting flesh, but apparently that's uh, it only blooms for one day every 10 years or something like that. So I can believe it. It's interesting, though. Very interesting. <laughs> I, that's right. I need to do a lurk command, don't I? That outfit is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Tech of the tango variety of the outfit. No, unfortunately not. I actually... um updated the outfit list that's down below so there is the updated list down below um there is a mumbo there is a uh well a hell's night uh i don't have a zoom avoid i should have a zoom avoid but i don't um I'm trying to think in it of any hermits that i have i don't have a green i don't even have a false symmetry I love the goggles that she has. Hmm. Bang bang. A streamer's pick then. All right. <laughs> Conclusions. All right. We will do that. Mm. <laughs> hey, Puka. Puka. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Hey, I see you have on the Combat Ellie. Yes, yes, I have on the Combat Ellie outfit that was uh, inspired by Silver Like Insidious. Yes, I know, that's nice, that's pretty. Okay, but we gotta change things up. That's not in style right now. Not in style? What you, this is just the, just the costume that I'm wearing right now. Yeah, people want things to change from now on. Uh, who people is this? Techno, techno mage grim. Oh, oh, okay. Well, what are we changing in, into? Um, you'll find out when you get behind the bush. Okay. Uh, not saying that this always turns out bad, but let's take a look inside of here, figure out uh, what we got on. Wait, guys, what is this? What? What what is what is this? Is this like a uh, Karl Marx mask on? Yes, that's right. No, no, we're we're taking apart in part this. We're gonna th throw away the cigarette and get rid of the glasses. Um, and this is a formal suit. Yeah. Okay. What? You guys were gonna have me turn into Karl Marx then? Uh, the the uh, old timey comedian on the black and white moving pictures yeah that's what we were gonna do 
No, we're gonna we're gonna separate that because some of that stuff I I just don't like on me. Oh, fine, sure thing. Let's uh, go ahead and put on the partial Karl Marx outfit and see what that looks like. Uh, grab the bush there. Partial Karl Marx. Nothing related to Mumbo at all. <laughs> uh. All right. Bumbo Pucconi. <laughs> Mumbo Pucon. Bumbo Pucconi. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. So now we got ourselves the proper. Let me put back on the music. There we go. Now this dragon should perform properly. All right, so it should be in the ground in the proper movement. Let's check here. I want to also make sure that Angel is prop properly moving as well. Uh, let's get his facial expressions to fixate as well so all of these need to stick and all of these need to stick and all those are good okay so next scene we want all of this to rotate grab and move over to here okay I'm hoping that's correct so Good, good. So everything in the previous scenes should continue to work as I move into the next scene. So, picks up the dragon. That's good. The dragon looks fine. It's not doing anything weird that I haven't already put on it. Do you guys see that? I see it, but do you guys see it? Do you see it? Hold on, go back. Okay, so this is working fine. He walks off into the distance, but there's a mistake here. Do you guys see it? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna show you that guys this. I accidentally left in the snow over here. There's snow right here. <laughs> I accidentally left the snow in. The snow in was uh, transported in when I brought in the rain. And I forgot to move out the snow. So now the snow is out of there. <laughs> Alright. So. We go from this scene to that scene. Now we can set up how Angel is supposed to look. Jen, you are here. Yesterday, Ooh, whoop. Mm, yesterday he kills a dragon. Today he makes a baby one grow. <laughs> Jen, fire. Welcome in, Jen. Perf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. All right, so now we can get... Uh, I... I didn't notice. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing, Slitchies? I'm surprised you didn't announce your uh, presence with Quack. <laughs> do 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 we want we want to get oh jeez fur cool i nearly pulled the headphones out of the out of the microphone <laughs> thank you grim 
for scaring the stream. Hopefully it's reduced a little bit for everybody. I did bring down the volume. It does scare me still. As a matter of fact, I was testing the volume and I pressed, hey, play the button to, um, uh, to see how it sounds. And I pressed play and I scared myself. I pressed play and I scared myself. <laughs> uh, uh, three bangs in one stream, right? Volume is much better. Fur. Glebo, can I, can I just ask what are you referring to by saying fur? <laughs> much, uh, be a great stream, uh, scare. The TX were from Jurassic Park. Oh no. Oh no, what have you done? Dude. You got it in my, you got it in my head now. Got it in my head. Do 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 so far, 13% on those points. I have it up for 14 days, so in at least two weeks, I'm pretty sure I'll be singing some sort of Hermitcraft-based song. <laughs> uh... Ah, uh, there's some more points. Knew someone was going to do something like that. Someone's contributing to a karaoke song. Of like, uh... You know, I actually... If you guys know, uh, Kubo... <laughs> oh, golly! Hell! <laughs> oh! Oh! I got myself some caffeine. <coughs> I don't think I needed any caffeine with Techno Mage Grimm being so generous with the biddies. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, let's move this on over. Every time, every time that scares me. I mean, I guess I go off into La La Land and my own world rather quickly. And just thinking, oh, I need to do thus and so. I need to do thus and so. Um, and then um, immediately, like, I'll get scared by pretty much anything. I was wondering if I should get in another different type of scare as well. Bing bang. <laughs> bing bang. <laughs> that has gotten me once. The bing bang has gotten me once before. Yes. So, okay, good. Good. I'm glad that you guys aren't getting scared by it. <laughs> so I did turn it down enough where it, it, it scares me, but not you guys. Oh, actually... Oh. <laughs> That's the starting pose for Angel. We need to get a starting pose for for this guy here. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, kid. Hold, hold on. Hey, hey, if you want to lay down in the bed, you gotta stop stepping on it. <laughs> oh, that is a cool emote. I, I haven't seen... Have I not seen all those emotes that you have, Harry? 
I thought it was just the, uh... Uh, the anchor that I had access to. That's a cool one. I like that one. Some people aren't scared of sounds. There was one sound that I was wondering if I should add into the scary mix, which I'm pretty sure that would get me, is um, just a sound that, of somebody talking next to me. Like, if... Because there's nobody, there's nobody awake right now. There's nobody that should be awake. And if somebody were to come up to uh, me in the headset, go, Hey. Just like that, it might scare the, the piss out of me. So, <laughs> it just might. Let's see here. Let's bring these guys down. Oh my gosh, that kind of scared me too. <laughs> Wiggly Fox, subscriber one tier for five months. Thank you very much, Wiggly Fox, for giving the five months, five months of support. Five months of support from Wiggly Fox. Give you a hug at Wiggly Fox. Give you a hug. Hugs for Wiggly Fox. Yeah, or just let's just like. Behind you. <laughs> and if it and if it came out of one side of my my uh, headset, like if I put in a stereo effect on it, so that way you only hear it out of one side, it would it would mess with me so bad. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking. Let's see here. How do we make dragon? How do we make a dragon cute? How do we make cute dragon? Do 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. I've noticed that with this, with this, uh, the model of the dragon is that it's definitely not built for walking around. Now I've had to adjust this thing in order to. Get it to be right. Let's move these guys back a little bit. There we go. Because those legs are way up there. Way up there. Do 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 Love Chrono Trigger music. Okay. Um, I wonder. I wonder if there's a way that I can get these bones to move the way I want them to. Huh. There might be a way to get these bones to stay flat if I wanted to. I'm wondering if I can figure that out actually right now. Copy rotation. Why is there copy rotation? Huh. Copy rotation. Interesting. Uh, let's get rid of this copy rotation. See if we can do something about that. Um, I'm going to do it to just this one. I'm going to get rid of copy rotation. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Copy rotation isn't even visible right now. Okay, so it doesn't even matter. Copy rotation doesn't work. So if I were to add in a... Let's see here. Limit rotation. If I were to limit the rotation of world space, uh, limit X, Y, and Z. Okay. And then... Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, so we want... Limit max. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. No. No, that's not going to work. Okay, 
but it is, it's the one that I want. It's the one that I want to move, but it's not quite the one that I'm getting. Interesting. Why is the foot all the way up there? It shouldn't be. Do, 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 do. What about this other guy here? What happens when I turn this around? Yeah, I want it to go there. Oh, 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 I know why, I know why. Okay, so the Y rotation needs to be like so. There we go. So this one needs to be 180 degrees. Uh, negative 180 degrees, my bad. Negative 180 degrees. There we go. And then this needs to be a negative. It looks like negative 20. So if we copy this guy, put it up here. Let's see what happens. So this foot can no longer rotate at all. At all. So if we move around this guy, but we take this guy and then move it up. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. All right. So now, now this foot, now this foot, no matter where I put it, the paw is facing downwards. That's what I was looking for. All right. Good. Now I can do that with these other feet here. It was a problem that I had with um, Dragon Bros, and it's, and I didn't quite know exactly what to do with it. So. Each one of the feet in Dragon Bros is hand animated. Every single frame on the on the big dragon scene. That outfit is, is not looking too oh. hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change. Outfit change of the clock. Uh, I can't lie. It's too hard to take Bumbo Bukonai seriously. <laughs> oh, come on. I've got a serious mustache, a serious suit. Come on, I'm supposed to be, you know, knowing what I'm talking about. That's, that's I'm a proper gentleman, I say. Uh, how about something dis uh, distinctly magical? <laughs> She's like, Puka, 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 hey. Hey, you know how we were saying that, you know, you, your outfit doesn't look good and then we needed you to change properly in order to uh, fit, you know, the style of today? It's like, yeah, this is the style of the day. That's what you told me it was. Um, yeah, um, the style has changed again. Today? Like, within minutes? Yeah, we keep up to date on this type of stuff. We need a change into something a little bit more fantastical. Okay. Um... How do you guys keep up to date on, on where? Where where do you keep up to date on this? That's a secret source. Don't don't ask. We know, we know things, okay? We know the fashion world. We know what's pretty. Because we're pretty horses. Three, two, one, pretty horses! Oh my god. Anywho... You need to get behind that bush again. All right. Behind the bush again. Okay. Now, um, we need you to wear this. Oh, God. I mean, it's canonically correct, uh, but I, it, it, this definitely feels amongst the fantasy world. <laughs> um, I guess Jen will be happy, that's for sure. Yeah, that's kind of what we were going for, okay? All right, we'll take the suit. Okay, bye now. <clears throat> the breeze rolls in. <laughs> and camera two. Oh, that's right. I want camera two because that shows off the wings a little bit more. Do -do -do. <laughs> Something distinctly magical. Distinctly magical. Mm, let's do restraint, limit rotation, and we want to 
limit the x, y, and z rotations. And this one needs to be limited of negative 180. And then negative 180. And then limit rotation of this guy is 220. Or was it negative 220? Negative 220, I think Okay's it was. Cut. Yes, negative 220. Okay, Scott. Basketball. Getting my, in the game in of some bad. Whoop. Apparently, I can't type. Screen. Oh, screen cap keys. Right, 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 right. I've been running all oh, this entire time without them. Thank you very much, Jen. <laughs> There we go, screen cap keys. Do, do, do. There we go, now the feet are moving correctly. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's grab these guys too. Can I copy this? Do, do, do. Doesn't look like it. I don't think I can copy these. We're just going to have to do it bone by bone. Thankfully, there's only two more bones that I have to go with this limited rotation. X, Y, and Z. Um, and as a matter of fact, this one doesn't need too much change. Let's try another negative 220. No, that's not going to work. Hmm... Do, 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 do. I think that's going to be that. And negative 135. Okay. Negative 135. And none of these others I really need to change. That's good. Zero. So let's do the same thing to this guy. Limit rotation. X. Oop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope, this is the wrong one. Limit rotation, here we go. This is the one I want. X, Y, and Z. And we want to do one, negative 135, negative 135. There we go. Copy, paste. There we go. Bring those feeties on down. Footsies, bring these footsies on down. There we go. Oh. Oh. Players missed the join the game. Yeah, sure. Uh, can the game end? And end game. Huh. Of course, there's one specific way of ending the game. Uh, disconnect. And then reconnect. What is it lagging behind so much that uh, people weren't able to join? Is that the problem? Let me take a look at the stream manager. No, it's not lagging behind. Oh, well. There we go. And then basket bar. <laughs> huh. That didn't even work. Bat did I misspell basketball? Bas Did I misspell it? No, that's how you spell basketball. this hit. Basket bar. I apparently can't summon basketball. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Can Jen or any of the other mods summon in basketball? I don't know why I said Jen and any other mod moderators, but let's see here. Basketball. 
We are missing with the powers beyond our ken. <laughs> okay. So apparently that didn't work. We are just going to end it outright. Stream resources. We're just going to reload the whole thing. No, nah, it's, it's fine. It's probably just uh, my my uh, instance of the game. Reconnect. I probably had to exit out of it. It's probably not letting it go because it still thinks that the basketball is still going. That's probably why. Basketball. There we go. Yeah, join red or join blue. That is how you join either side. Yep, right up there at the top, you should see a little commands. Join space red, join space blue. Yeah! Ah! You should be able to join after the fact. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Yes, you were in. Correct. Joins purple. <laughs> there are no neutral points in this war, Blebo. Alright. Alright. Sorry. Sorry. Try this again. Alright. I am going to basket ball. I'm going to hit basketball and get ready to point and join space blue or join space red. Either side. Ready? Three, two, one, enter. There we go. There we go. Now we got at least a uh, Couple people in either side. Try again. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Yo! We did the initial thing. Uh, Sam. Okay, Sam. Sam, are you in? Yes, you are in. Good. Sam is at least in. All right, and what is it? The uh, one of the first number that you put in, and the second number you put in. It's like uh, the angle and the power, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Bass. Help. Help. Basket ball. There. Green bar is the goal, and you have to pass your avatar through the top, the circle. And an angle which your avatar in to shoot the enter two numbers, one for the angle and one for the speed. Keep adjusting the numbers until you score. So just uh, type in like uh, ninety, and then ninety. Hello, I am text to speech. <laughs> Are you? Didn't? We? Goodness sakes, Grumpy! Holy cow! <laughs> just pick a number. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right all right so we got we got those feet to work correctly now now they now they fit uh work on this property right here i'm thinking that i need to duplicate this guy because i just realized that i did mess up the entire previous scenes by doing this. So, um, what did it see here? The other scene that this is involved with is over here. So this scene now, this scene now has the, has the, uh, the pause in a wrong position. Yeah, the, the paws are now in a wrong position now with that. So what I'm going to do 
is I have to duplicate this guy. Uh, blue dragons. This one is the hatch one. Let's going to duplicate this collection. And this one is blue dragon day uh, four. Day three. Ah, we'll go with day three. We'll just go with day three. So this one has everything that we want on it. This one, however, we need to remove the um, remove everything from. So this one goes away. This one needs to have all of its bones, everything we just did on it removed so that they can move properly. Let's see here. Let's remove this one. Let's remove this one and remove this one. Okay, so that dragon works properly now, but uh, let's see here. All of this that I did over here needs to disappear. All of this needs to go away so that when it goes underground, when it goes underground, it stays there. The other dragon, this one, needs to have all of its stuff from the other end of the spectrum completely removed so that when it comes up, the uh, everything's proper. So, okay. So now... So now I have two more dragons here because I had to add in those bone constraints for the paws. So now if I have both of these up, this one this one will have its paws moving correctly. Yeah, the paws are moving correctly there. And then in this scene, the paws will animate correctly. Yeah, the paws stay on the ground, flat but they can still move up and down. And that's what I'm working for. <sighs> Grumpy, thank you very much for the 50 bitties. <laughs> Got an extra supply of oxygen in there for for uh, for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> As I just nearly suck in uh, the entire room around me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love the scares. I really do. People go, oh, I'm sorry for scaring you. And it's just like being scared is fun. It really is fun. I love it. It is so much fun. Okay, so all of this. Mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. What is happening here? Ah, that's what's going on. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Losing my mind. Losing my mind. Okay. Here we go. This also needs to be fixed because I fixed it on the other model, but I didn't fix it on this. The eyes need to be fixed properly. Let's take a look at our our little bones, our little uh, fixations here. Okay. Okay, and then... Oh yeah, that's right, because I moved these guys. We want to move these guys inward a little bit. There we go. There we go. That looks better. That looks much better. I like the way those eyes move now. 
rather than being kind of derpy to one side. Let's actually, uh, there we go. Actually, let's move it off. Move it even further. If I move these, if I move these completely cross, <laughs> okay, maybe not that cross, just a little bit cross. Much better. I like that. I like that a lot. And take care of this, and then the eyes move properly. Yay! I like how that moves. Good. They're kind eyes. They're much kinder eyes. I like it. And actually, since I did make this into diff two different forms, I can turn these horns uh, a little bit better now. I can make them grow just a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grow these horns a little bit. Why don't you? Oh, that's because I'm not on basis. Right, 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 right. There we go. There we go. Much better. Get those horns grown just a little bit. Okay, and then we need Dragon to do something. Can we have Dragon sit? Can we have Dragon sit? Aw, Dragon sits. <laughs> I like this. Okay. And then let's bring this head back a little bit. And then down. Hmm. And then let's grab these two. These. This seems weird. This one and this one. Hmm. No, not. Yeah, individual origins. Nope. Go blue! Old Grumpy, the MVP of this round. Good job, guys. Ah. <laughs> Bing bang. Bing bang. Uh-oh, what? Uh-oh, what? Oh, um, Corky Firewolf. Those numbers were, uh, to, uh, fling their characters. So they used those numbers in order to interact with the video game that was playing. So that basketball was being controlled by those two numbers. 42 points. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this one now will I am in maths toe. I'm sorry. Text the speech did not wasn't able to mm, say that. Haha, ha, I can do this one now. Woo. I'm in maths though. <laughs> <coughs> Somehow, text to speech did not did not like how that was phrased. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have Dragon doing what? He's I want him him kind of interacting with something that was isn't quite seen. So we're just gonna have him looking at something um over here. Yeah, we were gonna have him 
we were gonna have him trying to uh, fly at birds, we weren't we? I think that's gonna be its own separate event, I believe. And I think we're just gonna focus on one thing, which is having this dragon, um, having this dragon, um, just interacting with his current surroundings. Doo -doo. There we go. Okay, so from here... Yeah, that works. Good. So, dragon sit. Sit. Mm, burp. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to just have him move uh, around a tad. Okay, and then these move around a bit. Nope, not that direction. I want this direction. And then the tail, I want to have kind of flicking back and forth. So let's unrotate this and then rotate it in the other direction. And move it all about. Whoop, not like so, not like so. Come back, Dale, come back, Dale. There you go. All right, there we go. Okay, good. Now, I want this tail to take the long road of staggering it. Main tailbone. Grab like so. Do 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 do. You won five uh, avatar points. So you got uh, five more avatar points. Those points can be used for bombs and duels. So you can fight people for more points. Moving this on over, staggering the tail movement. Oops. Goodness sakes, there's a lot of... There's a lot of bones in this tail. A lot of bones. But I like the ability to hand animate my tails, because they... They, they feel... a lot better if they're hand animated rather than just automated they don't they feel a little bit more like a limb rather than just an afterthought because tails tend to be just kind of like an afterthought when it's used for a lot of things yeah there we go Shomp. like it so now if we duplicate this guy Duplicate, and duplicate. So if we do for, yeah, look at that tail. I like how that, that, that feels a lot better. Look at that tail. It feels a little bit more fluid. Feels more like it's an, an, an actual limb that's being moved around. Like it. Like it a lot. Very much. See you later, so cheese. Oh, sorry, Grumpy. See you later too. Didn't I, I did not notice. I'm sorry. Okay, and let's Move this about too. Mm. 
Yeah, I like that. All right, and these wings have got to move a little bit more independent of everything else. Just so that the animation of the wings is staggered everything else too. Okay, good, good, good. That head, however, is moving along with the tail, and I don't like that. It needs to move a little bit more independent. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Grab this head. Okay, I like I like how that's moving now. I like how that's moving. Let's grab this body and make this move a little bit more as well. Definitely has a lively movement to it. I love that. I love that a lot. Okay. So the overhead establishing shot should take her here. And then jump to from here. And I want to actually give a little bit of zoom in here too. so much don't like it let's let's move in with just the arrow movements see how that does that's a bit better I like that let's do a linear linear movement on that there we go good now we want to go to the other camera Camera. And let's put in a control B. Get our the get our us the other camera. Duplicate the last scene. And the focal length. I want to make sure we have on that. So that stays in throughout the scene. And then this angle. Okay, so this guy. This guy is going to be right here, moving on over there. Wow, through the raindrops. Over to here, that's right, I need to get rid of the rain after the scene, don't I? Where'd the portal go? Where the oh, there's the portal. Hello, portal. There we go. There we go, good, 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 good. I like that. Oh no! And now, a group be added to the contribution for the. Oh good, we're at only twenty percent. We're only at twenty percent for the uh, for the uh, karaoke cringe moments. There is at least fourteen days on that. Do do do. 
I do want to change this, however. Let's see about doing that. Uh, going back to this moment, let's add in the focal point. Let's change this up a little bit. Or focal length, my bad. Focal length, not focal point. Focal point is different from focal length. Hmm. <sighs> ah. Caffeine. Get some more caffeine. Coughing, coughing. Ah. Doing good so far. I'm liking how this is looking. Gonna need some symbols on. We're gonna need some symbols on the portal, but we're gonna have to m have them kind of like chalk marks, as though. Uh... Oh no! Thank you, Technogram, for the Boopa the Snoot. <laughs> Thank you for Boopa Snoot. Got let's see here. I want chalk marks. What would be a good chalk mark type texture? I'm thinking uh bone. I'm thinking bone would be a good type of texture for chalk or some type of marking. Um Let's add in a few letters, I'm thinking. Just random letters. So let's add in shift A. Do, 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 do. Um, text. Rotate X 90 degrees. Bring you on out a little bit. Oh, what letters should I use? Lurk? <laughs> Lurk. I'm going to use those letters. Cool, cool. Get your snacks there, Harry. Let's change this into, we've got to change this into a type of uh, standard galactic alphabet font. Standard galactic alphabet, this is what we want. Okay, we're gonna change that to that. And this needs to be um, converted to a mesh. So, ooh. All right. Do, do, do. Whoops. Let's bring this on down here. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -dum, ba -da -ba -dum, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba do, 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 All right, and then let's duplicate this guy here. And let's put him over here and let's separate him from the rest. Separate from the selection, okay. So this guy needs to come out somewhere around, needs to be held into the portal. Mm, doo -doo -doo. 
and this one need to be held into the portal until just about now. Let's move these on back into here. Um, grab, let's put you on over here. Okay, and this one is guts to come out later. And actually, no. What I can do is I can have Angel be over here. Let's grab all of these important bones here. And we can just move him on over here, right next to the bush. And let's put you there. And then we'll just have him mock like he's marking the sign there. And then uh, probably a piece of bone inside of his hand that kind of is in the shape of a piece of chalk would probably deal, be okay. Let's get that bone texture on these letterings, too. Um, I want add reload materials. Search for bone. Bone side. Load bone side. Okay. And then all of it, unwrap, cubic projection, I think it is. Cubic projection, what happens then? Hmm, oh yeah, the lights are off too. Interesting. Don't get any texture on here. Why don't I get any texture? UV editing, oh, that would be why. Radio. Let's grab all of that and increase its scale to very. That's better. That's much better. I like that. What is your bone block side? So let's do that. Bone block side. Unwrap, cubic projection, scale up. Good, good, good. I like that. I like where that's going. To vary. Yep. And I like, uh, how much? Oh, about a few. Yeah, yeah, it's about a few. It's more than, it's more than none. Harry, does that make you the Muffin Man? Something like that. Yeah, it is. Something like that. Comes from my formal education, right? <laughs> the one who lives on... Dury Lane? Dury Lane. Formal education. <laughs> uh, formal education. Alright, so let's get him drawing on the wall. Layout. And, oh yeah, that's right, I need to get rid of the rain too. Goodness sakes. Zoop. Rain, rain. You're going to have to go away at some point. Mm. 
Okay, and then we want sunlight. What are you doing right now? Sunlight. Uh, do do. Step back. Go to that. Go to that. Light. Strength and color. Okay, and let's get the world set up as well. So, this guy. Mm, shading. Object, world, background. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do something different. Let's add in a shader, mix shader, and then add in another grounds here. Okay, let's do that, and then next scene, we want to have a little bit more light. Good. So we go from dark, dark section to a lighter section. Give it a good save. Make sure I'm not going to lose everything I just did. Oi. Oh. Hmm. No. Nice full circle. And it. Ah. There's something funny. This, this does not look like a seahorse. That looks like a proper dragon. Um, <laughs> Meld Assassin, uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Mel. <laughs> do 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 let's get him to do a thing so it's gonna be on this camera from here we've got to get him in a better position here from top or rather from uh, yeah from the top down to the bottom let's move this guy backwards a bit and have this head turned and then before the next camera bring that hand down and this body will follow Doesn't matter if it clips into the into the obsidian a little bit. It's going to be this far away. So no, oh, you still even see it there. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I think that's okay. Pretty sure that one's okay. Let's go ahead and do and deal with that. Good. It's going to pause for a little bit here. Mm, come 
want you want to oh 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 Zoop. uh scale I want to make sure that I didn't accidentally scale that in a different weird direction and get some hydrate cool cool Harry go ahead and do that left half after my last message what did I miss so far um we have the scene set up after this dragon is starting to be a little bit playful down there hmm there is a weird it is kind of a weird transition. Let me let me get rid of the bones here for a second. Let me take a look at this from a So he he comes up to here, drops the fish. Tosses over one fish. Yeah, I think that's okay. I should I should think about whether or not I want it to fade into the next scene or not. But I think it does okay for now. I think it's okay for now. Well, thank you, Mel. Yeah, I'm thinking fade too. Um that means I'm going to have to do some some other type of magic when this thing is done. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some other type of magic when this thing is done. Right now, I currently have um I currently have this scene going from here. I'll have to fade it out kind of quickly from here to there. That's going to be one scene. And from here to there, that's going to be a fade. So I'll just probably render the two scenes as I see them and then just kind of squish it a little bit. Of course, that means that some of the timing is going to be off too. Or... Either that or I can fade to black. I could fade to black instead. Fade to black and fade back in. Let's see how that works. I might be able to do that with just the camera. Um, Let's see if we can do that. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, and then I want to go to the camera here. I'm gonna see what I can do. Shift A, we are going to add in a plane. Whoop, not there, wherever it just added it in. Camera. There it is, camera. Shift A, we want to add in a plane. This plane. Plain Jane, be like so, minimize down a bit, okay, good, bring you on in, scale you up, mm, scale up, er, no, like so, and extend on out. So it's going to cover the whole scene here. And you are going to have a transparent background. Trans. Transparent. And then you are going to be shading. I want you to become a new layer. This is transparent. This is going to be called fade. Fade material. This is going to be called fade material. Object. 
Shift add in shader, mix shader. I want a mix shader. There you guys. Okay, it's currently transparent. Let's give it an eye location. Where are we on the time frame? Here. And then we want to fade to this point here. Okay. Here. And settings, not alpha clipped. Alpha blend. Ooh, alpha blend, no. Uh, backface culling? Uh, show backface. There we go. There we go. Alright. And now. Okay. There we go. And now we want that same type of plane. This is going to be called fade plane. Fade plane. Uh, oops. That's actually going to be attached to the camera. I need that to be attached to the camera. So anytime that there is uh, the camera, I want it to be attached to that. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Duplicate this plane. And you are going to go over to the other camera. Zoop. There you are. Mm, fade plane. Number two. Bring you over to here. Shift S. Selection the cursor. Perfect. Move on out. And it needs to be bound to this object. Object keep transformation. All right, good. There you go. You can lay down, pop up. Oof. So now, when we go to this other uh, other scene here, it'll start out black, and then quickly change over to the other one. Give me that. There we go. Let's do that. Do a hydrate as well. There we go. I'll get the hydrate in a second. Fade the black. Yeah, that helps. Let's move that fade in just a little bit further. So now I'll fade out to black. Yeah, that helps out. It makes everything look weird. Hold on. I have 16,000 points. I hope you're thirsty. Tongue. <laughs> tongue. I hope you're thirsty. Tongue. <laughs> ah. To be honest, I have no artistic talent. That's okay. Sometimes people can tell. Thank you for the 10 biddies there. Grim. Earthbound burp. <laughs> Belch. Now what is happening here? That is weird. This is weird right here. What is it doing? Okay, is this just a thing that is happening? Yeah, okay. This is just a this is just a thing that happens in the live preview and not an actual thing that happens inside of the rendering. All right, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Save Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harry, 
You, you say you have no artistic talent, but sometimes... Uh, uh, even people that say they don't have artistic talent can have some good ideas. So even if that were true, it might actually help out. Which is why I like doing this live. Get some immediate feedback on some of the stuff. Because doing it inside of a vacuum is just not possible. That's why I had a uh, kitten help me out with Dragon Bros in one of the scenes. Because I just could not figure out what to do with the uh, the scene ins inside of the, the cult area, the cult house. And that's what came about with the disco ball. So it's now called the disco ball room. When all the Dragon Bros are just walking down the hallway with the disco ball hanging above it. Or disco egg. Disco Dragon Egg, I should say. Alright, and then once he makes the, the line there. Let's go. Let's zoom up here. Yeah, and then down further and inward. And then now we can step back a little bit. So let's step off to the side and then back up just a tad as we start to look upwards. There we go. And then we need to get those feet moving too. Okay, from this point here step like so and this foot needs to come on up move this foot on over there we go and then this foot needs to come up mid stride Woof! Wow, that is a little too quick. Little too quick. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Much better, much better. Cool, cool. Take care, Glebo. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, Jen. People got real life stuff happening on them. You post on YouTube. Do you have a finished animation? I do. Uh, thank you, Jen, for putting that up there. Uh, Dragon Bros, my way of K. This will be the next big project that I put up on YouTube. After a while of being on uh, YouTube, I realized that I should probably just put up my finis finished projects rather than anything else, at least onto that channel, because anything else just kind of fails on my channel. So I just put up only my finished products there. Nothing else. Hmm. Let's see here, and I think this should pick up speed a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, like have some, have it start off a little bit slower. There we go. Actually, let's just get rid of that keyframe entirely. And there, yeah, that works good. I like that. Mm, actually, this. This leg could come back a bit, I think. And there we go. Because he's going to be stepping further back, too. Around here. And then 
then and then over to this side. Okay, that's a little too slow here. We need to pick up the pace. Zoop. Yep. He's trying to figure out how to actually activate the portal to get into the Nightmare Realm. He's got to put in the right symbols, and he doesn't know what they are. Fiddle, fiddle, click. A little bit here. Magic. <laughs> Fiddle, fiddle, click, click, a little bit here. Is that is is that me creating magic, or is that Angel creating magic? Hmm. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> and thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm. Hug, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Did I do the hydrate? I don't think I did. doesn't feel right about this. Yeah, something doesn't feel right at this about, about this at all. What is happening? Let's put a, another foot down. Another foot movement just in case. Let's bring it back. Upwards. Um, okay, and then, actually, let's move all of this over here. That look, that feels a little bit better. That feels a little bit better. Not entirely, but definitely feels a little bit better. Yeah, that feels better. That That's much better. Hmm. Okay, and then let's see here. So he looks at the portals and then he takes another gander upwards. Let's move this body around just a little bit. He needs to look upwards. And then. Pauses here for a minute. Whoop! No, very much no. Okay. Pauses there for a minute. Good. And then looks back down to go back to the same position that he was at before. Let's do that. Duplicate and bring right back. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Here. All positions. Lock, rock, scale. Then... I grab this, duplicate it, and bring it right on over. All right, so let's grab these and do a slower transition. Good. Now these need to remove their keyframes. Good. All right, now we can move the feet to go with the body. I think the first foot has got to be this one back here. Okay, and lift up that leg mid-stride. And then bring up that other foot over here. Right there. Like 
like so. This needs to move up mid stride as well. Good, 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 good. And I think I think I'm gonna have him start to rub at it a little bit, as though he's trying to take off the symbol, because he knows that it's not working. So it's it's got to pick something else. <laughs> Poof! Look, another mountain. <laughs> Right? Yes, he does look like he's almost about to pounce. That is what I'm kind of getting for, but he's not quite... Um, I'm thinking that he's not quite fully grown, so he's not going to pounce on something yet. I do want that scene where he's going to chase after a bird to be its own section. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build up to that. So he's not quite in the clobber you type phase. He's more in the curiosity phase. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Let's see here. I think we're going to be okay with transitioning quickly over to the next scene maybe oh no no I got it okay so I know I don't think I can take the camera and have it transition from one to the other like fade from one to the other because both of them would have to be rendering at the same time and I don't think I know exactly how to do that within one blender file and to make sure that it continues to work with the music I think what I should do is have the camera move upwards and then back down so I think I think what I can do with the camera is start scrubbing at it right about where is that going Scrub, okay, so about right here. Scrub, 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 scrub. Okay, so we're going to take this camera and we're going to actually move it upwards. Okay. Whoa, too fast. Way too fast. And we're going to move this. Okay, so... Actually, actually, let's do this. Let's do a point here, and then let's move over to this next point here. And let's start moving over to another section. Let's move the camera. Instead of uh, have some sort of transition, let's, let's actually take the camera over there. Okay, so now I want to I want to move this camera over to over to the fields. Okay. Okay, good. Good. I like that. So. Yep. 
Yeah, I like that. Very much, very much. I like that. Okay, so they're going to be working in the field. And so, yeah, they're both going to be... Eh, do I want him working in the field? I think maybe the next scene should be not the field. Let's do let's do the pond. Let's do the pond next. And I think there's some water source. Where is the water source? I know that there was like a pond or something over here. Ah, there's a water source over here. Ah, right over here. Come here. Sorry about all the blinking. Let's do the water source over here. Let's come over here to the water. Mm, how do we want to have this section? Mm. Ba, 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 ba. Dum, bum, bum. Let's have it right here. Let's point it right here. I think, I think right about here would be okay. We're gonna point kind of into the water so that we can see the fish in the water. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, we start heading off into the wrong direction. Let's change that. Okay, so where is the oh there there's the water okay <laughs> I did not want to that that goes on for a little too much of a wild ride I don't think so Okay, too much of a wild ride. Mm. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. It seems a little too much. What if... What if it was over here? Herm, 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 herm. Where do I want to put this? Ooh. I'll put it over here. No, I'll put it over here. Why not? Well, the reason why I didn't want to do that was because of the fading, isn't it? Yeah, it's because of the fade. The fade in there. And I'm going to get a bunch of the clip. Huh. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. This is good. This is good. I like this. Much better. Much better. Much, much better. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna slow down a bit. Thank you! Evelyn Love, thank you very much for the follow. Let's slow down the camera a bit. So once we get to this point, we will see... So we slow down the camera. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. I like, the, I like the slow down of that camera there. Yes, that's much better. Okay, so then we go from this scene. From here. Over to here. Good, good, good. I like that. I like that very much. 
because then then the angel and the dragon are kind of cut out of the scene for a little bit so that way you don't see them in both scenes at once or you don't see them right next to each other so the realization that the dra dragon is growing up plus the time passing is is extended so in between the two scenes you don't r directly compare the two dragons so that way it just comes to you it's just like oh the dragon is uh growing up rather than having two pictures next to each other uh because i kind of want to have a, a little bit slower realization that the dragon is growing up not a quick dragon is growing up just a kind of a slower realization that it is Oh. Ooh, a voice actor. Hey, how you doing? Live ri Rivens. Rivens? <laughs> I believe Jen is making a, um... Jen is making a Wyvern, actually. She's making one on, uh... On, uh... Zedcraft. Zedcraft server she's making a Wyvern. Yeah. Zedcraft. Unfortunately, I can't make the the Wyvern into this animation, so I'm turning the Wyvern into a dragon and calling it Ember. But... Eh. Wyverns, dragons, close. Not the same thing. I at least know that much. Making it... But it's at least a uh, a reference towards Jen's wyvern. Alright, so let's get Angel to scrub this out a little bit. So we want him to come up here and start scrubbing at this a little bit. Mm, Pull this back. And then other direction, other direction, other direction. Just got to scrub at this thing. Try to get it off. Um, okay. All right, that is definitely too slow. So let's go ahead and take all those keyframes and shrink on down. <laughs> Mm, too slow. Need to speed it up. Okay, let's duplicate those keyframes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then we're going to have to duplicate these keyframes and put them over here. Because you see that hand starting right here. Uh, grab, move you on over. Yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Dragon game. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, by the way, how did you make your pixel VTuber avatar? Um, the avatar is a bone of... The bone structure is from something called... Um, Oh gosh, I've already forgot what it what the heck the the thing is called. Let's see here. Um, I forget what the thing is called. It's from a Japanese uh a Japanese anime character creator for for Luppet. And some other things. I forget what it actually it's called. So the, the bone structure is actually not my own. But I have adjusted it in order to fit the model that I created. So the model I created myself just inside Blender. And I just uh, applied it to the bone structure. Uh, because apparently my bone structure, even if I made everything correctly, it wouldn't work for some reason. So I just applied it to this bone structure, and it seemed to work out okay. And uh, put it into V Magic Mirror, 
which is another free program. I joined the Discord. Uh, Void Studio. Yes, that's what it was. Thank you very much, Grim. On the nose. Yes, it was uh, Void Studio. So, because you're you can use those avatars, um, I took those that bone structure and just completely mm, deleted the model and added the my model to the bone structure. Mm, playing as Gloria as a Pokemon and use V Magic Mirror. Oh, cool. Then use it to make it her her own character. Cool. <laughs> I'm just really glad that I was able to make this Minecraft character into a usable avatar. Because then I can I can pretty much just take Minecraft skins and apply it to this thing. So just if I make up a Minecraft skin, I can do that and put it on this guy. Making up a, a skin for, like, a normal skin for this thing is complicated. <laughs> I am so glad Minecraft exists uh, within Blender because uh, I don't think I would be able to figure out Blender if there wasn't Minecraft because Minecraft is such a simple geometry, such a simple uh, movement structure that everything else in Blender uh, starts to come naturally as I start using my things inside of Minecraft Blender. It's a it it it's a, it's a complicated program, but eventually you start figuring out a lot of things that you can do inside of it, and different ways you can do certain solutions. Like, there's solutions to... Uh, <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off on a little tangent here, um, really quickly. In, in the Imp and Skiz animation, there was a section of the, of the latest animation where... Skizzleman goes into the field, he drinks a speed potion, and and he plants the field in, like, one fell swoop. Okay? And there's uh, three different solutions that I found for that, for that um, field, in, in, in order to create that field. And the first two were so incredibly complicated. Like, the first one I found out, I, I tried to take each individual section of grain and turn it into an object that pops up. Pops up, pops up, pops up, pops up, pops up, pops up, pops up. So each, each one was an object that popped up. And I, I found out that that lagged out my computer, made a huge file for for the animation and it was just not doable it was just not doable so i i then then came up with the solution of uh taking that model and duplicating it and turning it into one giant object per row of field and it just kind of and i turned it into a keyframe where the where the field would gradually pop up row by row by row by row and that seemed okay-ish but it was still super laggy until i found out the best solution now mind you all of these solutions are valid it's just which one gets you to something that looks good and is the quickest solution now i came up with the the solution of if i just have a cube if i just have a cube and i go over here to the modifier and i add in an array modifier uh let me make this negative one so every instance of this array modifier makes it 
whatever size the original object is, I can just scale this thing up or rotate it, whatever. Just the edges of this thing will will touch. So if I do that, and all I have to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's basically just copying this thing, but not adding too much data to the whole thing. So now the the row of the field pops up just using this and then I come over to here add in another keyframe but a higher keyframe and now the field just forms by itself like so and I was like oh man that is perfect so I love it I love I, I love finding out better solutions for some things because some of these solutions that I come up with are just um, simple, but hard to ex execute because it takes a lot of work. And some of these solutions are just like, oh, I could have just added an array modifier. And my gosh, array modifiers are my friend when it comes to Minecraft. Because all the blocks just go right next to each other in a grid pattern. Bam. Done. Let's see here. So we need to have his body move around a little bit. I'm thinking that um, we do a little bit of this, that, and then a little bit of this, Whoop. and then that. Okay. How does this look? Yeah, it works good. Okay, let's try duplicating these keyframes here. See what we get. And offset that from the hand motion. Let's do that then. See how that looks. Yeah, that works good. Uh, let's get back, rid of the background so that we can see this in the proper movement. Background gone. Sky, where are you at? Land, uh, sky. Sky, details and clouds, get rid of you. We don't need you right now. Mm, we're gonna, oh, I'm in, I'm in rendered view, no wonder. Yeah, it does well. That does well. Okay, now let's just move this hand out a little bit, too. Okay, move this hand up. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Awesome. Now let's get that dragon moving a little bit more. So what do we have for the dragon right now? Okay, so it kind of comes... Let's continue that movement. Whoops! That's not going to go over well. There we go. That's much better. I like that. Okay, good, 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 Copper cube. Oh, take care, cookie. this 
And then let's grab this foot down here. And I actually want this paw or dragon paw to come up a bit. Whoop. Nope. Wrong one. I want this dragon paw to come up a bit. Uh, forward and then up. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. I like that. Let's see about. Warp. Right. Try to get that shift on there correctly, and it doesn't want to. And then bend you down a little bit and bring your. Keep on bend. Whoop, not that much, yo. Up. And on down. Woohoo! <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mel. I appreciate that. Hug to Mel. Hugs to Mel. Hug at Mel. Thank you very much, Mel. Hug. <laughs> Take care, Nova. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. You finished that one bit of animation. One bit of animation. Which one bit of animation? Okay. Actually, I'm going to want this to move down slower along with this. Okay. Nope. Mm. Oh, the bit animation. Oh, as in Twitch bits. Well, um, currently, yes. Uh, since I didn't want... <laughs> um, I didn't want uh, one bit being spammed. I, I was wondering if I should have the, the one bit animation where it hits me in the, it hits me in the head as a consistent one where you just go uh one bit and then it hits me in the head i wasn't sure if i should make that a small thing or if i should make it a big thing so right now it's kind of a uh actually i should change that i do want to change that right now it's a 10 percent chance if you toss a single bit just a single bit 10 percent chance that it will pop up with that uh that animation so one in ten chance if you give one bit it will pop up because <laughs> i wasn't sure if it was gonna get annoying if i if i had like one bit one bit one bit one bit one bit or if it would um or if it would cause people to do more bits and be like, uh, just, and still spam it. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm wondering... I was I was wondering if 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 uh, having it be a ten percent chance would cause it to fill up chat uh, more or less to have it a ten percent chance because I know people would be like one percent hit you in the head one percent hit you in the head one percent hit you in the head or if people would be going uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
50-50, yeah, I should probably have it like 50-50, shouldn't I? I wonder if I can change that retroactively. Or not retroactively. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, stream elements, dashboard overlays. Twitch. Let's actually take a look, see if I can fix that right now, because I know exactly how to fix that. Do, 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 do. Cool bits. It's part of the cool bits section. I have an, just a section uh, for for all the cool actions of the bits. Variations. And then settings. Let's change that to a 50% chance. Save variation. Save the overlay. Get rid of that. Minimize. And then I should twitch fire, no. Main overlay, properties, refresh. Doo -doo. And that should update everything. Yeah, I was thinking of 50 50. <laughs> Fifty fifty chance to hit me. I'll call it like uh, if if you don't get it, you missed me. You threw a bit at me and you missed. <laughs> uh. Okay, and then this can actually. <laughs> oh, Chen. <laughs> oh, that. Ah. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Clasher, how you doing? I'm getting pelted with bits. Ow. <laughs> Good aim there. Apparently Technogrim can hit me fairly often. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I do like the animation of that. That turned out pretty good. The reaction of the bit hitting me in the head actually turned out pretty good. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that looking uh, like so. <laughs> uh, possibly. For now, we'll just keep it at 50. Just for fun. You can pelt more bits at my head that way, right? <laughs> at least for this stream. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> Thank you, Grim, for all the single pennies Pelton tossed in my head and scaring the socks off my fit and feet. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that I could put a little... I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking this might be cool. All right, so this, I'm going to put this paw right there, a little bit up a little bit. 
um, forward and up right there yeah I like that I like that all right all right all right all right before I have a half an hour half an hour before the stream ends I am gonna put in a single cube and shrink this guy down way small Oh goodness, where is it? All right. Come on. Where's the where's the cube? Oh, there's the cube. Hold on. Get this cube over here. There it is. Okay. All right. Now let's take this cube. Um this needs to be inside of actors. Let's put it in with the dragons. Let's put it in with dragon number three here. And let's put in bug. Let's make this even smaller. And we're just gonna turn this into um we don't want any, we don't want anything. Let's add in material. This is gonna be bug cube. This is gonna be bug cube. And we are just going to remove all modifiers from this so that it just is a black cube. So we don't have anything happening on with this thing. It's just a black cube. And then it pumps right there. So we need this bug bug thing to be right there. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to have this little bug Bring thing down. starting to crawl up um, right about here. We're going to have this thing crawl up. Bing bang. Bing bang. Harry did bing bang. Hello, Harry. Harry did bing bang. Hydrate. Okay, so how does this look? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like that. Like so. Like so. Do, 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 do. Move it around a little teeny bug. Little teeny bug. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Do, 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 do. Bap. <laughs> take care of these bones. Let me take a look at this. I love this. Bug. Mm. Bap. 
Dragon. I love this dragon. Dragon go bat. Okay, so we need to get some other things happening with this dragon. We do have to get some other sorts of reactions with the rest of his body. Okay, and this one's coming up. We're actually gonna pause. And by pause, I mean going to continue. Oops. Continue the movement here just slightly. And then from here to there, we have to bring these wings on up. And then continue the wings going upwards. Like so. <laughs> and then let's bring these wings on down. And let's get some other body motion in here. And then rotate on down. Okay. Back. Good, good. Now we need to get that tail moving properly. Zoop. Get all of that tail. And then where's the bap? Bap is right there. So I can duplicate this frame. These right here. Mm, let's continue that tail and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks all right. Mm. Maybe, maybe, let's see about something here. Let's try, let's try from here, do a lock rock scale, and then I'm gonna take all of these keyframes, delete them, actually, yeah, delete them, and I want you to go upward. So rotate, and then bring tail up, like so. And again, fuck. yeah, I like that. I like that. It's it's an unintentional animation between here and here. I, I kind of like that rotation, that, but I do like the quickness that that has. So we're gonna make that a little bit quicker. Fuck. Actually, we're gonna slow this portion down right here. We're going to grab this and slow it down a bit. Yeah, there you go. I like that. See it without the bones because I am seeing things that aren't meant to be seen. Good. I like that. I like that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a Let's take a a, a full look at the scene that we've created here. So, we have Fade it out. Fuck. And then it'll zoom right on over to there to the other section. Let's put back in the sky and we want the background back in. There it is. Bap. Mm. 
right down over to here. And this next scene, I'm gonna want the have the um, the dragon a little bit older, uh, even still, and it's going to try to pounce on the fish that are in the lake, but. Since it's an ice dragon, the water is going to freeze over underneath of him. And so are the fish. And then I want Angel to be chuckling a little bit at, to himself about the situation. So he's going to see this happening. And uh, he'll, he'll just be kind of like... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow, Grim. Uh, for your hard work, I worry you many mm, bits in place of single ones. I'm going to have to go soon, so I figure I should do this now rather than later. <laughs> I will gladly, gladly take every single one of those pelts to my head. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grim. Oh, hugs to you. Thank you very much. Uh, hug at... Grim. Uh, Techno Mage Grim. Can't can't spell Grim without Techno Mage in front of it. Do do do. S O. And Techno Mage Grim. And this thing, of course. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Techno Mage Grim. Gotta check out Techno's Techno's streams for sure. <laughs> uh, buried under a mountain. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea, Grim. I like it. I definitely like that. We should uh, we should work on that next week. Uh, some more of these little animations for the stream, and I like that idea. Just getting, just getting clobbered by by a bunch of bits. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. All right, there is something wrong with this hand, and I need to fix that. This hand isn't even moving at all. Give me, give me the bone. Give me, give me the bone. There you go. And then up and back and grab Y. Mm. Duplicate. Whoop! Nope, nope, nope. Had way too many things duplicated there. Alright, bring this back and then do, do right here. Move around just a tad. And then this guy. Let's move right on top of this guy. Move on up and back. Nah, it's good for right there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, ooh, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. I need to acknowledge. I have, I've got to actually, I've got to acknowledge something, don't I? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I just have him looking at the portal and touching the portal some more. And then here, here, I've got to actually do something. That's right. Because I'm doing this with all, um, without any words to it, I've got to actually put some acknowledgement to it. So here, I've got to actually make sure that Angel acknowledges the fact that this isn't working. So I need him to shake his head at the portal. So... What I need to do... Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I need to have him shake his head. So, here. I almost forgot, jeez. I'm gonna have him shake his head at the portal. Okay, so... Nope. Yeah, there you go. That That's what I needed. Yeah. No... Because it, it's not working, since the the symbols aren't working, so he's got to 
He's got to do a shake of the head. It's just like, no, this isn't right. Yeah. Because he doesn't, he doesn't know how to activate the portal. So he's gonna be, he's gonna be working at this for s however long it takes the dragon to grow up. Uh, it's like, nope, it's not working. And you gotta, you gotta give those, you gotta give those subtle acknowledgments inside of something that doesn't have any words to it. So, just like, uh, what's happening? Oh, he, he writes on the portal and then he starts scrubbing at it. Is that a good thing? Bad thing? And then with the universal, user, universal language of uh-uh. <laughs> universal language of uh-uh, nah-uh. <laughs> uh, uh, Artemis Siren. Hey, how you doing? Oh, Artemis, you were streaming Zedcraft yesterday am i correct yes i think that was you that was mm, streaming uh zedcraft yesterday do, do, do. need an animation where just won't offer him look around for a bit <laughs> uh and be buried by be, be be buried when he thinks the coast is clear. <laughs> hmm. My homework is to watch films. <laughs> watch just watch films. What are you going into uh, filmography? Oh, called it. <laughs> All right, so he's not satisfied, and then he scrubs at the thing. All right, good. I think, I think that's right now. Let's take. All right, so let's take a look at the ren semi-rendered version of this. So now we have. Fade out and fade in. Actually, that, yeah, that works really well. I like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Take care of those bones. Get rid of those bones. Don't want to watch this without bones. Uh-oh. 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 What's going on here? Hello. Um. Okay. Some. Uh. This is not right. Do 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 do. Uh. Apparently, it's got to be alpha hashed. Oof. Okay, yeah, look at look at this. Look at the cobblestone really quickly and watch what happens between alpha hashed and alpha blend. The stuff, the cobblestone, let's mm -mm, see if I can get this angled right. The cobblestone goes away with the plane. Look at this. This is like, whoops. I made a mistake there. So I've got to turn this into in from alpha hashed in uh, alpha blend into alpha hashed. So what and the difference between hashed and blend is uh, the fact that uh, the more dots you have, the more fading you have. Uh, with alpha blend, it's uh, basically a gradient between opacity and no opacity. So with this one, each little dot is very opaque but there's not many of them. So, now it can fade out properly into this, which it kind of, it kind of fits. And I'm having all of these transitions be a, a alpha hash. Yeah, I like that. Very good, very good. I like that very, very much. Cool. So next time, I need to make the scene where the dragon pounces onto the lake and has it freeze over because of uh, being an ice dragon. Hmm. <laughs> 
Mm, study, t uh, study some teen films so I can shoot one at the end of the course. Teen film. What is a teen film? Just a film made by teens? Uh, um... No, I'm thinking, I think in that, uh, the reason why I did that is because, um, is, is honestly just because it's Evie. Evie d tends to cheat a lot of things, and sometimes there's a lot of glitches when it tries to cheat, um, certain types of, um, transparencies. So, well, um... Not sure exactly what what is going on there, but I might as well go with what works, right? Yeah. If I were doing it in cycles, it would work. I know it would. But unfortunately my computer can't handle too much of the uh can't handle too much of cycles. Ferris Bueller. <laughs> ah, breakfast glow okay, Ferris Bueller. Okay, I get it. Bueller, Bueller, anyone, anyone. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That reminds me, I, I do need to see. Eventually, need to see um, Deadpool. I do need to eventually see that, don't I? I know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off reminds me of Deadpool. Just because of the scene that I know happens at the at the very end after the credits. <laughs> it's like, you're still here? Why are you still here? It's done. Go home. Go home. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't. Um, the guy who did the... Ceremony for my dad's master degree uh, a few years ago. That's funny. Uh. <laughs> master degree. All right. Looks like we have approached the end of the stream. Let's go ahead and get our roll out music. Rolling out the dick. Oh, Ben Stein is the name. Ben Stein, because I know his, um, he used to have a game show called, uh, um, Win Ben Stein's Money. And, uh, yeah, he had a game show. <laughs> it's all right, everybody. Um, uh, yep, we got in a fade in from one transition to the next. Actually, let's kill out, kill the, uh, Kill the music. My bad. Let's just kill the music so that we can hear the string and hear this. Fade out. Fade in. Little bug. Uh oh. Bug gonna get squashed. A squishy. I'm gonna have to do something with the eyes though. I'm gonna have to make those blink and look a little bit curious. I am gonna have to make those eyes blink a little bit though. I'll have to change that next time. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll add in the blinking and we'll start on the... on the fishing with the ice dragon. Apparent, he's apparently funny as hell. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what did my Nightbot do? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! H-E double hockey sticks? <laughs> oh, man. I need to, I, I need to look through that. Look through that. See if, uh, I mean, the S word, yes. Maybe, maybe we should take care of the, uh, the H word, though. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll, I'm gonna have to take a, uh, a gander through it, make sure that there's n no words like like that that are clearly okay. But 
Um, let's go ahead and go back to the rollout music. Do do do, and bring up the stream manager. Thank you everybody for coming by. Got another section of this animation done. That's an another full section of this animation done. I mean, that's actually pretty good. I, I like this. This is like, it's only, um, only a couple thousand frames of animation, but it def every, every bit helps. And having you guys along for the journey is always wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for the bits. The subscriptions, You're fantastic guys, love you everybody. Let's see who we can raid. Who can we raid? <laughs> well, it uh, looks like we are raiding Fibro Wolf, uh, cause we can't raid um Bob Ross. We can't <laughs> raid Bob Ross, so we are going to go off to Fibro. Let's do that then. We're gonna start raid and make sure that everything is already set up for transitioning offwards. Pook a raid. Pook a raid. Pook a raid. That's right, I should get a raid animation too, shouldn't I? I should do that next week too, as well as a clobbering of bits. Get an actual raid animation. Because I don't have that. Do, 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 do. Um, need to get everything set up and out. Um, back to Twitch and get Fibro on the bar and mute this. Good. Nope, I don't want to listen to the commercial. There we go. <laughs> Hashtag go read. Make sure you put that inside Sarade. Hugs to everybody. Thank you very much. 